So what is your dream? Uh, I want to be a doctor when I grow up. You want to be a doctor? Uh -huh. I don't have like a particular um, job. Yeah. I, I don't want anything, but I just it's just that I want to go to the Purdue University. These intelligent and cool kids study in Dachidon, a mecca of private educational academies. I quickly learned that this neighborhood has a strong image in Korea. So he literally studies more than, more than 12 hours? Total about 11 hours. Yeah, 11 oh yeah, almost 12 hours. hours. But I want to see the neighborhood for Dachi students' eyes. And oh boy, prepare for a deep dive into the Dachi world. I'm feeling really good because we are going to Dachi Dong, the most requested neighborhood by you. Dachi Dong is known to be the mecca of Korean private education, the number one hub for Korean private institutions. So who better than to be shown around by Kyung Kyung, former Dachidong student, right? Yeah, I yeah. am. How long have you lived in Dachidong? I'm actually born in Dachidong and I haven't, haven't moved elsewhere, so... You're still living in Dachidong? Yeah, yeah. Are you born in Dachidong? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. You're like the hardcore Dachidong person. <laughs> yeah, I am. Cambly is the sponsor of this video, but more about that later. I'm on a mission to explore all 400 plus neighbors of Seoul. And today it's time for Gangnam's Dachidong. As someone who had lots of freedom after the primary, middle and high school, this neighborhood might be a shock. Please stick with me because this is going to be super interesting. Um, I wanted to show you the really famous middle school and high school in Dachidong. It was made around like the end of Joseon dynasty period, really the start of Republic of Korea. Were you a student at one of those uh, middle or high schools? No, it's actually boys school. Okay. So like my brother goes there, a lot of my friends went to that middle school and high school. Uh -huh. It's called Kwimun. Kwimun is a private high school. It can trace its beginnings back to 1901. That makes it one of the oldest high schools in South Korea. And one fact I love about the school is how they continuously taught the Korean language during the Japanese colonial era, despite being banned by the colonial government. Are you still in there? How is the school? Do you like it here? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Thank you. Nice meeting you. Nice play, nice play. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like statues. What is happening? <laughs> That's just like a common day. <laughs> school has to be fun like that. One middle school student who will go to this school soon is sang -woo. He agreed to meet me in Dachidong to share his Dachi experience. Uh, now it is on the school vacation, so uh, yeah, I go to every day. Every day? Yeah. If it's early, then it starts at 9 a.m. It starts lately, like it starts at like 9 and a half a.m. When it done, it depends on the day, but most of the day ends with the 10 p.m. or 12 p.m. Wow, that's a long day. Yeah, but it is. Most of the day, cheese students do like this, so I'm doing as well there. I must be honest, before coming here, I had a substantial prejudice. Student study under immense pressure is what I thought. But how much of that is true? Now you're a student at Songi Gwanda Hakkyo, right? Yeah. Is it something you always wanted to do? It's really weird, but my parents, even though they live in Daystool, didn't care a lot about my education. So like, they're always saying stuff like, oh, if you don't want to go to university, then you don't need to go. So I was like, oh, university is not mandatory. I can just go if I want. When I just applied to Songi Gwanda University, I was just like, they're a good school. And then like, just, <laughs> so you already break one of my stereotypes is that the parents are kind of forcing the education on their uh, children. But a lot of my friends were like that. They hated that their parents forced them to study, but they knew that if they studied that much, then they will get a good grade and they will go to a good university. The kids all have that sort of thinking, like if I study hard and if I go to a good university, then I will live a happy life. So I think that is just wrong. Wait, hold on. So students make long days. I get that now. But do they even have time for dating? I remember when I was in high school, girls were important. I guess I will find my answer here, of all places. Before I continue, I want to thank today's sponsor, Cambly, who offers a service that I deeply appreciate. With Cambly, you can practice English speaking through one-on-one -on -one video calls. It's available 24 seven, so you can use it anytime, anywhere. And what I really like about it is that all the tutors are native English. So if you want to learn, let's say, the British accent, then you can get a tutor from the UK. And you may have noticed that all the people who appear in this video speak fantastic English. It's awesome. They probably have studied a lot, 
Yes, but eventually they put their English speaking into practice by having conversations. So if you want to improve your English speaking skills, please try Cambly with the link below. Or you can write down iGoBart as a promotional code after becoming a member on the Cambly website or Cambly application. They will give you a 30 minute free trial and this is only for new members plus a 50% discount on a one year plan and this is for everyone. But don't wait too long because the campaign is only available until January 31st. Let's get back to the video. So next, where are we going next? Um, we're going to the, what should I say, like the local Pechidong department. They have a really nice library. And when I was a student, I used to make like boyfriends there. <laughs> it was kind of like a hot place for middle school and high schoolers. A, a, a hunting library. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Show me the hunting library. And actually like the hunting comes like, oh my friend is here, I talk to her. Uh -huh. And then she has like a boy friend. Then I can also talk to him and then I get to know his friends. And then if I like one of his friends, then I can like... <laughs> yeah, it, it's like the classic soccer thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is kind of a library and a community center for also adults. Uh -huh. It doesn't look like the typical hunting bar I've seen in Hongdae. <laughs> I'm kind of enjoying this uh, Dachi Dong tour by a student. It's really interesting. Because you hear so much about Dachi Dong. And this is the place where it used to be like, what should I say, more kind of like a library with like really many desks. Uh -huh. And everyone just studies. But it's changed to like more children friendly part of library. Okay. And there are many like comic books. Let me explain how Dachi transformed from a Gyeonggi township, no different from a typical rural village, well into the mid-late 1970s, to Seoul's number one hub for private education. Like elsewhere in Gangnam, this neighborhood saw construction of massive apartment complexes in the 1970s, like the remarkable Unma complex. To attract people from north to south of the Han River, the government convinced prestigious middle and high schools to move to Gangnam. And you can guess which one, right? The Hui Moon School. The school created more demand for private education. So private academies, the hot ones, mushroomed all over the place. And voila, that you don't. I have a feeling that's the tree. Oh yeah, it is. It is huge. When a lot of friends meet, sometimes we just say, let's meet at the tree. And there usually is kind of like a Okay, but the tree, uh, Kyung Jung, is really impressive. It's really nice. It is a pretty tree. This tree is probably the last witness of all Dachi I was talking about. It is over 500 years. Over 500 years, wow. So here is uh, Dachi Dong's future for probably the rich of the rich people, yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe, I think, like, 50 bucks. Do I need to make a lot of YouTube videos. <laughs> the Pojang Majas can still be found. And it's at these places where students can get a quick, affordable, but delicious bite. Hello. Here is the Engopang cream. Do you want to eat it? Yes. Then, give it to the second one. Cream second? Yes. Do you want to eat it? Yes, I want to eat it. Ah, that's right. I want to eat it. 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 Yes, that's right. 이제 그 쉬는 시간에 와서 먹고 와봐요. 아 그래요? 서준이도 하나 드세요. 어? 하나 드세요? 아니요 여기 많이 먹습니다. 많이 먹어요? 예예. <웃음> 예. <웃음> 잘 먹겠습니다. 네 고맙습니다. Now we're gonna look at the typical Pechi Street. There are a lot of cafes and also a lot of private academies. So it's like cafe academy, cafe academy, cafe academy. I slowly get a good picture of Daji Dong, but I still want to see the beating study hard, and I'm shocked. I've never seen anything like this. Hundreds of academies, cafes, building after building. Cafe that a lot of students go. Starbucks. To study. If you go in there, there are not a lot of people talking. Uh -huh. They're all on their notebooks or like studying. This is kind of like more parents than students. Okay, so the other Starbucks is for the students, mm -hmm. and this is for the parents. Yeah. All academy. Oh wow. <laughs> and right now it's 11, so there are no kids. Uh huh. But if you come here at like 6 p.m. or 10 p.m., like all students crowded. 10 p.m. looks something like this. 
pure chaos. Oh, it's really difficult to enroll in this academy. Yeah. So we're now going to one of the most famous mathematic academies. This is the most famous mathematics school in Florida. Young kids. Elementary kids, right? Yeah. What is this? This is all the university marks they go to. Like, this is all of the medical university, and they're showing if you come to my academy, this is the result. Three yeah. students have been to Jeonnam yeah, University medical one. Medical university is way harder than going to the Seoul University. But only until 2020. Yeah. I think they, they failed from 2021. <laughs> so. Oh, uh, told me a rumor about one of the academies. Quite interesting. Shidainje and Yale, two of the rivals. Now, if they're full, yeah, they just buy. Buildings. They just buy a new building. Yeah, they have so That's, many money. So we're now in front of Kipun Sangak, which is a mathematic academy, and everyone wants to go here for level one. Oh yeah, she didn't get that rival with the Gangnam Day song. Yes, like this much of the academies in the Daichi. And these are all the buildings that they they have. They have. Wow, that's they're really crazy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Study here? Yeah, yeah, because um, we we speak English better than like someone else. Like, yeah. Indonesian pronunciation because we've been to America for one year. Wow. <laughs> Where are your parents? Um, my parents are in the in their work their, in their business. My yeah. parents are both military officers, so oh. they go to work and we go here. You want to say hello to my viewers? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Look uh, at these two. <laughs> smart. <laughs> smart people. Smart kids. What is your name? My name is Julie and, and my name is Brendan. And what do you study here, Julie and Brendan? Um, English. Grammar. English? Yeah. English grammar. Guys, don't you think they speak fluent English? Oh, your accent is amazing. So much better than mine. Oh, uh, thanks. I no, yours is better. No, I have a stupid Dutch accent. No. <laughs> Where do you find your happiness? Uh, fancy. You both do that? Yeah. Huh? Okay, that makes you happy? Yeah. So what is your dream? Uh, I want to be a doctor when I grow up. You want to be a doctor? Uh -huh. I don't have like a particular um, job. Yeah. I, I don't want anything. It's just that I want to go to the Purdue University. Oh wow. Is it Purdue? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> just pretending. What is it? Um, Purdue is a like a university. It's, yeah, it's in Indiana. Oh. And my father went there. Uh huh. So. I also wanted to go. You're done studying today? Yeah. No, no, no. no. On today's evening, we're mm. going to go to another academic. More English? English. More English. English? Okay. It's kind of easy for us. Hey, you don't have to study English anymore. You're, you're already fluent. No. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, you're, you're doing great. You haven't seen Daichidong if you haven't been to Unma apartment complex. Built in 1979. One of the oldest apartments in the neighborhood and is soon to be one of my favorite places here. The Unma Arcade seems like a crucial part of the daily life of Unma citizens. And to me, this arcade is a vast playground for grown-ups. Oh, we also meet Kyung Hyung's friend, a former Dechi student. Hi! Hi. It was really boring. <laughs> Everyone's studying and nobody's playing, so I was confused. I want to play, but yeah. nobody's playing, so <laughs> am I doing it wrong right now? <laughs> should, I, should I study? <laughs> yeah, they have like um, peer pressure. Uh -huh. It's like nobody's playing and everybody's studying. I get to feel like, oh, maybe I have to study. More. So oh. everybody studies and that's why Daechido is one of the most boring places in Korea, I think. It's boring, but it's my hometown, so I love this place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you go to the... The Dosogwan also for hunting. <laughs> <laughs> she she told me all the ins and outs. <laughs> My boyfriend is a really really strict planner. Yeah. So he gave me his planner to show you. Oh, me. awesome. Yeah. Oh. Nice. It was when he was studying for SNU. And these are all the universities. The, okay, prestigious universities. Oh, Songyu Gwan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so <laughs> Not your university? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, he was studing for SNU. That's why he had a sticker. 
So he literally studies more than uh, what, 12 hours? Total about 11 hours. Yeah, 11 oh, yeah almost 12 hours. For him, it's like sleep, study. There's no other time. Yeah. He studied for 12, 12 hours oh this God. day. Wow. And there's also like notes, like what should we do? Oh. Hey, bag it down. Wow. <laughs> he says if you are sleepy at the morning, then do math. Because it's challenging. That's what he wrote. <laughs> Is that the secret? I always thought it was coffee 20 cups in the morning. <laughs> it's math. Tip for the people at home. This precious memory. He's a sentimental boy. <laughs> His name is Jeon Sung-won. Jeon Sung-won, thank you for showing your study planner. <laughs> Seoul de Jeon Sung-won. Yeah, he goes to SNU. Oh, Seoul there? Yeah. Okay, so he made it to the mm -hmm. top, top unit. Congratulations. I'm going to explore the Enma Arcade, which is a really impressive. Old looking building, probably the oldest thing here in Dejidong, other than the tree. So many stores inside. Let's check it out. I'm not joking when I tell you that inside is a complex maze. Is it this way? Yeah, I think so. We're getting lost in the Unmar cave. I'm starting with the easy level, the third floor going down. A few academies, random shops, more academies, and bookstores, you name it, and it's inside. If there were a definition of Korean 70s and 80s vintage, it would be this building. But that's not all. And it gets complicated in the basement. All worth it when you find the best tteokbokki in Korea. Oh, we found it. Really, 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 really famous. Yeah. It was a pojang matcha uh -huh. in front of a middle school. But then it was so delicious. People coming more and more just to eat here. So he moved in this place. And people are waiting in line to eat it. It was really good. And I confirm, it was delicious. I know it's a lot of information to take in. But this is one last thing I would like to know. Where do Dechi students find happiness within their busy schedules? How do they escape reality for a slight moment? So th this is one of the, the happy places yeah. for students. Daiso. I really like it here. What do you buy in here then that makes you happy? Dolls. When you are a Korean girl high school student, you always carry that one big, cute doll with you uh -huh. so you can sleep at school. Like oh in? yeah, there's a thing I really like. You know, this is kind of a Japanese treat. Oh, you this. can make like realistic jellies uh -huh. and then you can eat it. Okay, well, I, will, I will get oh. you it. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Daiso and our box, the PC bang, but the real the happiness Norebang? winner is the Norebang. If you come here at like 8 p.m., uh -huh. you have to wait like 30 minutes to one hour. No way! To just go in, oh, use my no samchong to sing uh -huh. and then go back studying. Uh -huh. That was kind of like the routine. Like a test is ended, I go karaoke with my friends, but I don't usually go to PC because I'm not interested in the video games. So yeah, I usually go to Norebang. So what was your happiness when you studied a lot? I really like to go karaoke. Uh -huh. and so yeah, she was my singing mate. Oh, ah, yeah. your singing duo. <laughs> so I went there like every day uh -huh. where I study for my SATs. Ah. Yeah. And now too, I go there like Twice or third week. Dachidong was shockingly fascinating to me. It's far from the reality I grew up in. The high pressure does pay off in a way. Dachidong has the highest average percentage of students entering Sky Universities and Korea's highest concentration of Hakwons. In Gangnam alone, there were 2,383 registered Hakwons, more than 10% of the city's total, and half of them are in Dachidong. This entire neighborhood is almost purely intended to be the perfect environment for studying. Dachidong is the number one hub for private education. Period. Welcome to my dong. Hello. 